this is a question that you know we like to end on with all of our guests and like you said earlier you're only in your late 40s so hopefully there's a whole nother half of a life to go um, you have a plaque there but before I, I read that I don't know if you want to save that or okay. oh, yeah. you want, do you want to do you want you go for it well this is this is where I read the, this uh, question this is one of the um, I'll say the the sayings the attributes the phrases that we that I've really lived by and sure. really kind of empowered in our people um, and basically it says if we don't take care of our customers somebody else will and so a great rule. Um, we have really stressed that in the operations I've been at um, I would tell you I'm probably one of the worst customers there is because if, <laughs> if the service is not what it should be or the attitude of the person yeah the attitude of the person who's um, tending to me or my party it uh, doesn't mean they have to be you know, doing triple backflips and that type of thing, but a positive attitude, a smile, a look in the eye, a thank you, a pretty common Midwestern characteristic sure. I would expect when people are providing a service. And so we've really deployed and tried to empower that in our people at, uh, at Churchill, particularly with the new opening in 2005. And we live by this rule. If we're not doing it, somebody else is going to be doing it. And the marketplace, as you mentioned before, is uh, things are changing so fast um, that if you're not changing, you're not providing service, you could easily get passed by. Combined with the fact that I think this can be a differentiator. Uh, okay. When you're talking about where you're going to go for business, be it go out for dinner, go to the dry cleaner, go get your car repaired, whatever the case may be, um, if there's a place that has good service that knows Kurt Jacobs' name mm -hmm. and they know what your likenesses may be, mm -hmm. you're going to be probably a little bit more inclined to go do business with them. And so if we can get a leg up by having that service differentiator, Okay. And in the long run, that should help us along with the other things we're trying to do within our company. And so I've tried to live by that. Well, I think it's remarkable the, the, the modernization that's happened at Churchill Downs. And if that's the rule you live by, it worked. Back to our question. When the great day comes, how do you want to be remembered, Steve? You know, if it all ended today, a horse ran over you, God forbid, or what have you on the track, how would you like to be remembered? Well, a horse won't run over me on the track because I won't be in front of it. <laughs> you won't be riding one anytime soon. <laughs> if he comes my way over the fence or something, I'm not quick enough to move out of the way, so that could happen okay, that way. But okay. I, 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 um, it may sound trivial, but I'd like to be uh, remembered as somebody who made a difference in other okay. people's lives. And that could be um, not necessarily through business. Um, I, I, you know, Pat Day, I've spoken a lot about Pat Day because he's made so much of a difference in other people's lives, and he's mm -hmm. spent his life doing it. Very successful on the track, very successful in his career but it's really made a difference in other people's lives. I'd like to know that I influence other people's lives in a positive way. We talked about how negative the world can be and how you right. know, you know, it, it's easy to be negative and report and comment and that kind of stuff in a negative way. But in a positive way, influence people's lives, help them develop their career, uh, help people who were not as privileged uh, financially or, or didn't have the breaks that maybe I was fortunate enough to have and opportunities. Uh, but people would remember me that I had a positive influence on others' lives, not for any one particular thing, but just in general. Mm -hmm.